Hi, I'm Miguel. My class just went on a tour of the Contra Costa Water District's water treatment plant. I never thought about my drinking water before. I just drank it whenever I was thirsty and used it to make lemonade and other drinks I like. We never just stop to think about water. It's always there when we need it, and it's good for us. Did you ever wonder where our water comes from? If you live in the Contra Costa Water District like I do, the water comes from the Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta. The water begins its journey to the Delta as snow in the Sierra Nevada mountains. The snow melts and runs off into mountain rivers. The rivers drain into the Sacramento River in the north and the San Joaquin River in the south. These two huge rivers meet at the Sacramento-San Joaquin Delta and flow out to the San Francisco Bay. Water is pumped from the delta. Some of it gets stored in the Los Volcados Reservoir near Brentwood. But most of it goes right into the water district's 48 mile Contra Costa Canal on its way to different water treatment plants. Hey, you know what? I ride my bike on the trail by the Contra Costa Canal every day. I didn't know the water was on its way to the treatment plant and then to my house. Well, to start with, Water from the Contra Costa Canal is piped into the water treatment plant. When it first enters the treatment plant, chemicals called coagulants are added. One chemical called alum works like a magnet, attracting the dirt particles and they clump together. See, it looks like gunk floating in the water. You wouldn't want to drink it yet, that's for sure. Actually, the dirt particles have a name. They're called flock. That's because the process is called flocculation. The big clumps of flock are heavy and fall to the bottom of the sedimentation basins, where they are removed and disposed of. And that helps get even more dirt out of the water. See, the cleaner water flows over the top. At this point, the water may look clean, but it still isn't ready to drink. There are still microscopic creatures like bacteria and other nasty critters that could make you sick, even if you can't see them. Now you're wondering, how do we get stuff out of the water that we can't see? That's where ozonation comes in. Ozone is a special form of oxygen used to destroy the impurities in the water. Ozone is made when large pulses of electricity turn the normal oxygen or O2 molecules into O3 molecules. These O3 molecules are called ozone. When the ozone gas is bubbled up through the water, it destroys bacteria and other microscopic bugs and even knocks out bad tastes and odors. Now the water moves over here to the filtrators where any remaining particles are removed. After the water seeps down through these beds of activated carbon, it is nearly ready to drink. But before the water is sent out to our homes, the water district adds fluoride to prevent tooth decay and adjusts the acidity to protect pipes from corrosion. Finally, a little more disinfectant is added to protect the water while it travels through underground pipes to our homes. So now you know. The water district works very hard to make sure we have clean, safe water to drink. But that's not the end of the story. There are things we need to do to help them. We can help by making sure that Delta water is as clean as it can be to begin with. The cleaner the Delta water, the less work the treatment plant has to do, and the safer our drinking water will be. We just have to remember two simple things. If you go swimming or boating in the Delta, make sure you don't pollute. That's our drinking water. And we can also keep the Delta clean without ever even going there by conserving water. The less water we use on our yards, the less runs off into creeks and storm drains that take pollution back to the Delta. See, it's everyone's job to make sure we have clean, safe drinking water. Because when you think about it, water, what would we do without it? So long.